Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the Hammy channel. Today we have an awesome video. The first that I know unlock of the Diamond Plague camouflage. If you don't know what this is, it is a zombies camouflage within Call of Duty Cold War. Now, uh, which is pretty cool in this game, is the fact that you can actually use these zombie camo unlocks that you get while playing zombies in multiplayer. If you go on down to Mastery here, you see that there is a gold camouflage, and then there is Plague Diamond. Now, I do think this looks better, in my opinion, than the normal diamond here. Uh, one's this normal diamond, the other one is a pink. I think it's absolutely amazing looking, and I'd really, really recommend it again. Now, what it, the hardest part for these camos uh, is the fact you got to get 2,500 kills, 2,500 headshots, and 2,500 pack-a-punch kills in zombies for every gun within the class that you are using. So therefore you had to get for the Hauer, the pump action, and the Spaz 12. If you go over here, we'll show off the Spaz 12 too, which has the same challenges, but you have to get the um, all the camo challenges done for each one. You unlock gold and you unlock plague diamond. All right, now I'm gonna hop into where I show off the guns in game. All right guys, here we go in game, the Hauer 77. I do think this camouflage is actually pretty cool. You're really, really going to stand out in multiplayer if you have this on, because not very many people are, are going to get this. Look at that. That is so unique. Very different for camos and past Call of Duties. Now, one cool thing is if you go over to a dark room, it does kind of glow a little bit. So, uh, it's kind of a little standout thing. That's the Hauer 77. Here is your Spaz 12. This one definitely does look cooler than the Hauer uh, with the uh, overslung... Uh, I guess collapsed buttstock that goes up over the top of it. Here it is in the dark. Stands out. Really, really cool. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Helps out greatly. I'm going to hop right back in the grind, try to grind out more of these chemistry guys and unlock that new secret dark matter. Now I'm going to just roll some random gameplay ahead. I was trying to get the highest uh, round I could using one of these shotguns and zombies, but uh, you got to watch to the end. The gameplay is not that exciting, but the way I die is absolutely hilarious and completely unexpected. So make sure to drop a like, as I said, and we will see you in the next one. Peace. If you guys want to know the class that I was using for the shotgun, which is absolutely amazing on both the Spaz and the Hauer, uh, I used uh, any of the red dot sights I use because I'm trying to get reticle challenges for it. Use the infantry V choke to increase ADS spread, makes the pellets tighter together, which absolutely shreds the elites in this game. Uh, I use the 21.6 inch reinforced heavy to give me more range and fire rate. Absolutely must have. I use the Tiger Team Spotlight to increase the salvage drop rate, which is awesome to have. You get more brains and components this way. And I use the 8 round tube mag. It starts off with more ammo and has more of the magazine. Look at me flying in with my plague diamond. Oh man, that's sick looking. Imagine pulling up in a public match with this thing on. I bet you get some comments. Let's get okay. some answers. This map looks amazing. This gun looks amazing. Man, I'm having a good time. Let's see how uh, see how far I can make it with just. I can't pack a punch it. I have to use it just normal, like this. If I pack a punch, I lose my. Uh... There you go, round one down. Gotta figure out just what happened here. Oh, man, those guys got to go down. They're too loud. I can't talk over them. I'm gonna with what's that dialogue? There we go. All right, it's round five. You guys want to see the absolute god route? You want to leave this door closed because later on that's where you want to train out here. Open up this door. Up here. This door. Explosions don't hurt you so you can stand right next to them. Yeah, the first time I played this man, I was so worried about the explosions. I ran back and hid and everything. Like, oh god, it's gonna blow. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the explosions though. It seems like it just takes too long to open up the doors. It could just be a normal, like, just blow up on the spot or something. I already had explosives there. You just hit the button or something. All right, you come down here. This brings you to your power room. You want to go right on through. Miss my slide, my speed slide. We run up here, and we have power by round... Attack a punch by round five. Turn this on. You're going to want to hit both of these. Yeah, hit this one. Then wait for your anomaly to spawn in. Ciao, bro. That speedy little dude for round five, isn't he? Look at this guy. Like the same bolt or something. All right, then once you do that, you start running this way, and we open up the left door. So you want to run, run left, 
just to make it as fast as possible. Doesn't really matter because I think this one is actually infinite here. We run up, and we're gonna have the right side over by Jug, which is nice. So we don't have to buy the other door or run around. So once you open up the, uh, when, once you turn on the power, it opens up this door to the right here. So it kind of gives you access to both sides, which is really awesome. So you don't have to actually buy all of the doors um, in the game to get around the map. It's very cool. Down we go. Down here we're going to get our part for the Pack-a-Punch. Ta-da! Then we are off to the races. There we go! Pack-a-Punch we go! Pack-a-Punch on round 5. Now if you want to get even more crazy, we're going to run back to the middle. Crouch down. Shoot this dot. Hop on down. Towards the middle. Come around this corner. Shoot that dot. I'm gonna run back up. Jump on this box. Crouch down. Shoot that dot. Run back here. Look up on top of this vent. And shoot that box. And a little boot scoot and boogie later. We stand here. Check this easter egg out, is this not hilarious? It's the coffin meme, bro. Come on, if that's not the best easter egg of all time, dude, I don't know what is. Has to be, man, look at all the dancing. Dancing zombies. Oh, man. You can't kill them, they don't kill you. That's absolutely hilarious, though. All you gotta do here is wait, and eventually they'll, uh, make their way together. Then once you just once you sit there long enough, they'll walk towards the middle and they'll spawn you back in and it should start the next wave, which is probably gonna be dogs. Check that, we got a ray gun for free. Wait a sec, no, that's not that's not an amazing Easter egg, I don't know what is. Absolutely awesome. Now this is gonna be our home for the next However, so many waves here. Now, I will show you another tip. Actually, we're, we're not going to be here. We're going to run over... We're going to run over to Juggernaut area here, real quick. Usually, I like that other the spawn spot, but... We're going to use a spot here. Usually, the first wave after dogs, once you turn on the power, uh, you'll get the big guy to spawn in. The big, uh... Brute, wherever he's at. There he is. Alright, then you want to come stand down by this mushroom here, which is part of the D.I.E. Um, Wonder Weapon step. If you stand next to it, he has to shoot you with his green orb. Boom. And it turns on that. Usually you have to do that step later. Most people think you actually have to get the flask from knocking off this box. And then, once you pick up the flask, then you can do this step. That's not true. You can actually do that step earlier, which is another pro tip if you're going for the Easter egg. Pretty cool. Then, actually, I'm going to make my way... Now, as I was trying to tell you earlier, this is going to be our home for the next uh, so many rounds. Basically, you just going to want to do a little U-shape and or add some circles in here and just train them. This has to be the easiest map to train on. It is so much fun. I absolutely love this map. Even even with the big guys, usually I don't like these maps when they uh, have the elite spawns like that or specialty zombies. I, I think it really makes it in the link. I wish it was really just, literally just zombies here. Just gonna do these up. Since we got the ray gun here, we're gonna just knock this out real quick. You gotta admit, it's, it's, it's a rip in the chat for the ray gun. It really got nerfed hard last night. Just crazy. This first, I was the second day this game's been out, they already nerfed the ray gun. Haven't nerfed the uh, multiplayer guns, but the ray gun multiplayer, or zombies, hit the hit up with that nerf real quick. Alright, we're gonna get these guys trained back up here. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Get together. And then we're going to go pick up our key card that you get from killing your first set of uh, the elites there. And then we're going to finish our, our form with our pump action shot. Use these red dot sites to go for these reticule challenges. 
I probably wouldn't use a red dot sight unless uh, if I want. These shotguns are absolutely broken. Really awesome. We're gonna probably fast forward to the end here and see what round I get. I might show you me getting the uh, DIE uh, frost gun, which is really nice for taking out the uh, uh, bosses. We'll see. Gonna stick my key card in the weapon workshop. Scanning for decompressive isotopic estrangement machine. There we go. Now let's head and go build the die. DIE signal detected. Now, I'm sure I just make people so upset <laughs> calling that die. Yeah, I know it's the uh, DIE, it's an acronym. It's like calling the US the, the US. We live, I live the US. I don't know, it's just, it, it's a patrol. Weapon storage at maximum. Fire ready. Well, I took some, some mad hits there, bro. Oh, of course. Leave it to the Nazis. There she is. The job. Pick up that. You gotta put the flat. Alright, she's done. Now once you fill up the flask, I'm going to use the frost. I think it's called the frost. It's the ice beam. Uh, DIE. You can take it on over to the medical bay. It's over here in this corner. Yeah, we're gonna freeze the chains off. That's done. All you gotta do is pick up the DIE cryo emitter. I'm gonna use this to help out with the elite uh, later on. See if it uh, helps out at all. If I need to, I can do the uh, electric one later on too. It's decent. Uh, I, would, I would use a fire one, but right now I cannot get the fire one to spawn. I know you have to yeah, go through three teleporters to get it to work, but I get to the step where you need all four and it unlocks the ability to do the other one. Um, okay then, apparently that's a thing. Apparently the, um, Aether uh, ability allows you to, you know, yeah, okay. Oh. That's not how I thought I was going to die in the video, but uh, I'm not, I may throw it in, I may throw it in, that was pretty funny, that's pretty funny. <laughs> 